All right, well, thank you, David. Thank you again for having me. I, I, um, I've got this uh, presentation here that uh, uh, I've done a couple of times and it's gotten very uh, uh, big response because this whole idea of having uh, a firm, most of them are, um, are hedge fund types or uh, it, they do it in different ways. I won't get into that, but they, uh, they will uh, allow you to trade anything from a $50,000 account to a uh, $350,000 account and, and give you 90% of the profit. In fact, um, Apex, which is um, uh, where you see the passing certificate that I just passed last week in the $50,000 account. I chose $50,000, one of the smaller accounts, because that seems to be where most of my clients are starting with. It's uh, less expensive to get started. I'm going to show you some of those numbers. But um, the idea of, um, in fact, Apex will, uh, will actually pay you 100% uh, of the first $25,000 that you earn trading the, their money. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's pretty impressive and they do it for several reasons. And I'm going to show you why uh, they would be crazy enough to give the, the lion's share of the profit. Anyway, these are just, um, um, just to show that, um, that I have uh, been successful in both the two top uh, prop firms, Top Step and, uh, and Apex. I find them to be the top from my examination of uh, my criteria, which are things like how long have they been around? Have they, uh, have they, uh, do they have good reviews online? Do they, uh, have, are they, do they pay out consistently and so on? And these two, you can, uh, you can be pretty confident with these two firms. Uh, there are many, many prop firms doing it all have slightly different rules, but I'm going to go through mostly apexes since that seems to be the one that my list members uh, seem to be pointing toward because the monthly, um, the monthly fees are cheaper uh, with apex uh than they are with uh, top step but there's you know there's always an offset these people are there to make money they're willing to give you the money once you pass but they also understand that the majority of people will not pass so they're all that going so they can get to collect all the tuition fees along the way i'm going to go through that for you all right let's get into how to pass your prop trading testing and get funded as as i did and i'm going to show you some of the um things that I've, I think that it's pretty logical. I'll, uh, some of the things I'm going to share have been shared with me from my list members who have um, who have used the process that I'm about to explain to pass the prop test and some of the things that the way we look at uh, using this, trading other people's money, trading of other firms' money as something that can be really a full-time a growing endeavor, almost a business in and of itself. So let's get into it. A little bit about me. I don't have the voice of Barry White like Avian did before me, but I do have some, uh, I think, some pretty interesting, a pretty interesting background. My uh, background was mostly in the option business the first uh, 10 years of my career. Um, I actually did work for Payne Weber for a while, uh, for a couple of years, but once uh, I was a commodity specialist for them and um, actually... <laughs> Wasn't uh, there wasn't an enjoyable, you know, winds up being more of a sales job, and I didn't want that. I'm I'm a trader by, by chance, by uh, by chance, by uh, by definition. International Trading Group is a was a very large option firm uh, back in the '80s that uh, uh, that I was a part of, and um, uh, I actually oversaw uh, as many as 60 traders in a room at a time, uh, and helping them to be more successful. Uh, my background, a, a lot of it had to do in the beginning with this right here, with constructing trading plans for professionals, uh, et cetera. And so uh, I've written several books and papers on it. This is one that still exists on, on, um, on Amazon. Uh, after uh, the corporate world, I decided to start my own corporate world with the Hallett Group. I, I was a commodity trading advisor. Uh, that earned 20% of the money that I made for my clients. My clients were qualified individuals, $250,000 uh, minimum size account. And I was trading them with that 20%. And it was very exciting, clear through my own introducing broker. But you talk about stress. You know, you, you think trading your own money is stressful. Trading somebody else's money, I mean, if you're a conscientious individual, is a very stressful thing. Did it for a few years. Uh, four or five years enjoyed it, but uh, felt that it was time for me to do 
something that was really directly with my passion, and that is uh, helping traders with the mental and emotional issues of trading. Listen, never got too far from trading. In fact, I, this, this lecture today is about trading and uh, my experiences in, in, uh, in writing trading plans and, and in actually um, executing those plans. But the mental and emotional uh, part of trading, everybody has the capability to follow their plan. But unless you work with the subconscious mind in order to change uh, the neural nets that you've developed, these neural nets in your subconscious mind, um, control your actions. And unless you, uh, and it's, it's very easy to change really with the simple med quick meditation, seven, eight, 10 minute meditations that we offer. So I wanted to, um, you know, everything I do tends to make sure that nowadays when I build a trading plan, I try to include the, um, as much as I can, uh, uh, about the mental and emotional nuance. I'll show you a little bit about that so that it's kind of built into the trading plan. Here's my promise for today. I want to lay out um, the pros and cons of prop trading. And by the end of this presentation, I think you'll have a clearer idea of whether prop trading is going to be something that fits you or not. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you, this is the screen of um, Apex trade, uh, Trader Funding, and I'm going to talk about them pretty specifically today most of the time because they are they seem to be the final decision for most people that inspect all of the other firms apex is i believe is the biggest and i want to show you uh, what the opportunities were I, there's another set of boxes below this that uh, 350 and so on but I, I wanted to show you something uh, the popular combinations um i'm going to focus this explanation right here on this slide with this um with with this um process uh, this fifty thousand dollar account in other words they'll they'll give you fifty thousand dollars trade this is the one that i passed last week and i chose it um even though i have three accounts with them i have a fifty thousand i have a 150 and a 250. Um, my approach was to go ahead and get funded first with the fifty thousand because that has the um, that has the easiest parameters. The goals are are easier. In other words, in fifty thousand, you've got to uh, you've got to make three thousand dollars before you lose twenty five hundred. Okay, they call this a trailing threshold, and I'm going to take a moment and describe what that is because it's important that you really understand what that is. Um, but you 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 need to gain three thousand dollars before you lose twenty five hundred. There are no other real um, rules to discuss, uh, except for you have to be out of every trade by the end of every day. So this is a day trading endeavor. Um, and with this particular size account, you can uh, have a maximum of 10 contracts or 100 micros. Uh, they count a micro contract as a tenth of a contract, which a lot of other firms don't do. Uh, Top Step does not do that. Um, as I showed you before on the previous slide, the, the other one that I read the banner. Uh, but 10 contracts is plenty of contracts for a $50,000 account. You'll probably never reach that. Um, in any event, uh, that's how it, this is the one that, uh, that most are starting with. And it's $167 a month. They run specials every now and then. Uh, but what this means is that every month you're going to be charged $167 as you pass. As you're, as you're looking to, pay, to, to gain that $3,000, um, you're going to, um, and, and, and you've got all the time in the world. You, you can't do it in less than seven days. They, they don't want you um, having a lucky trade, making $3,000 in the trade and getting funded. They want to see a, a, a process uh, that shows that you know what you're doing. Okay, so that, and, and to, they don't zoom in on every account, but they, they will see that you did it in one trade. You need to, uh, uh, and some of these, uh, I believe, uh, Apex also, they don't like uh, any one trade to be responsible for over 40% of, of the goal. So uh, th those uh, won't get into that. I think I've pretty much expressed what, what it is, but th the idea is you need, to, um, you need to spend at least seven trading days uh, reaching the $3,000. This assures them that you're just not having one lucky trade. Okay. Uh, $167 is what, so if you, if you, if you slow boat it, and, um, and take your time doing it, making 100 or two or $300 a day, 
uh, you go, you may go over that month, you'll be pinged again for $167 every 30 days. This is how they make the money. They know that the majority of traders do not pass this, even though it does not look so tough, uh, that 90% do not get through this, uh, as 90% don't get through uh, successful trading anyway. They know that they're, they're here to collect the fees and give you an opportunity at the same time. Now, if you do blow out your account, if you do um, exceed a drawdown of 2,500 and your account goes to 47, uh, $47,499 and you've breached the 44,500, then uh, a 40, I'm sorry, 47,500, then um, you can reset the account again by paying them $80 and it'll reset the account and bring it right back to the beginning. Okay. If you're down $2,000, you know, you may want to consider resetting them. I mean, why, why do you, why come back $2,000 just to get even, you know, this, so that they give you, they allow you to reset the account as you're testing. Okay. So I'm just going to give you about 30 seconds to view these other uh, accounts and, um, and you can um, just kind of do that while I'm silent for 30 seconds here. And that's just proof I can't keep silent for 30 seconds. Uh, but as you compare these things, you notice that um, this is almost a two to one. You you kind of like this combination where you've got to make 9,000 and it gives you $5,000 in um, and trailing threshold. Um, and the profit here, th this is, you can see how they make this a little bit tougher. Uh, it's, all, it's two and a half times the threshold here. So this is kind of a nice place to go, uh, even here, two to one, uh, if, you're, if you're thinking about going larger than the 50, but this is almost two to one here. Okay, so um, hopefully you, you have a general picture of, um, of where you go and, and, and what to do fairly. Uh, easy. I want to show you one thing. Um, well, for, first, I want to I want to describe when I talked about here the trailing threshold. This is very important that you understand this. Okay, he, he, and it, it's called. I, I want to compare closed trade measurement of the drawdown compared to the open trade equity that Apex does. Uh, I mentioned um, I mentioned top step. They use th th this closed trade p and l and 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 um, they're a little bit more expensive on their monthly. I told you one hundred and sixty five dollars. They charge close to uh, three hundred on this same uh, a month on the same size account to be um, to be traded. and this is um, and this is what apex does. Okay, and they're cheaper, so they're more expensive on a monthly basis. So there, again, there's an offset. This is a preferred. I wish Apex was this, but it's not. It's this, and I'm going to show you the difference. When you measure the drawdown with a with close with your closed trades, what it means is that if you have testing for this fifty thousand dollar account, and I showed you that you have a twenty five hundred dollar trailing threshold, if your open trade equity, okay, is a thousand dollars. Okay, you, your 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 open trade equity is a thousand dollars, and your so you have fifty one thousand dollars in open trade equity. You haven't closed the trade out. Okay, but the market comes back down, say in a long trade, and you close the trade at break even. Okay, um, your trailing threshold with Apex and many other firms. You'll, you have to differentiate between the firms. Uh, is is still twenty five hundred dollars. In other words, the fact that you didn't lose any money. Uh, yes, you were up $1,000. You didn't take it. Um, and, and so you're 50, 000, you still have $2,500 at the end of the day if, if you only had one trade this day. You, your drawdown is still going to be $2,500 till you hit the buzzer. Okay. But check out what happens with the open trade equity. Apex counts the open trade equity. So if, you, if you're, you're trading that same $50,000 account with the same trailing threshold in this particular case, you have a same open trade equity of $1,000. So now your account is at 5,100, 51,000. You close it break even, same exact happenings as before. But now with Apex, you're, you only have $1,500 left in what you could, um, in your trailing 
uh, number where if you if you lose another fifteen hundred, you're going to um, bl blow up the account and have to uh, pay another reset fee. Okay, so what they're saying, what I'm saying is that whenever the market goes up and you don't take it, they look at that as something that's a negative. They want you to take the profit that the market gives you. Uh, it's not absolute from the standpoint that you can get on. Now, what happens is in the next day, if you make a thousand dollars and you you um, uh, you take that profit right at a thousand dollars, the high of that 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 trade. Uh, then all of a sudden this becomes 2,500 again. So you can get over it by continuing to be profitable. Uh, but, I, but this is a huge difference, counting open trade equity. Um, so I wanted you to understand that before you just went for the cheap, uh, if, for the inexpensive by going with, uh, with Apex, because I, I still do think it's a, the preferred one because the costs are low. And if you can get through this quickly and, and you should be able to, um, I, I took 10 days to uh, 10 trading days to pass their 50,000. I think you can do the same or a little bit more, a little bit less. I, I can't trade all day, every day. Um, so, you know, everybody has their difference. But generally, if you have a good trading plan that that uh, that is, is in about the 60, 65 percent winning category, um, that's one kind of trading plan. We'll work, we'll work in your favor with, uh, with this. So, and I'm going to show you a trading plan that I, I'm going to offer you that um, the same trading plan that I used uh, to, uh, to gain my, uh, my first account with them at $50,000 last week. Um, there's a remedy to this, this thing about this open trade equity. One thing that I noticed as I was starting is that you want to start with multiple contracts and scale out. I'm sorry, you want to start at multiple contracts and scale out, meaning that um, if you if you start with multiple contracts and the market moves higher, let's say in a long position, then you're you're when you're getting out, you're getting out without the, any kind of pullback. You're getting out on the on the upswing. So it really works to have a, a, a trading plan that includes scalping. Okay. Um, I think you understand what I'm saying. As, as, as the market goes higher in a trade, if you can take your profit along the way, you're not allowing for any of that pullback, which is counted against you. I think you understand what I'm saying. Uh, the other remedy is if you only have, if you're only trading one contract, um, even though I suggest that you start with multiple contracts, at least two, and then scale out, uh, I want to uh, encourage you to do that. But if, if it's a larger risk, and there's a certain, I'm going to show you the measure of risk that I use, how to, how to measure my risk before I take a trade. And if you only use one contract, make it a scalp, because again, you're going to, uh, you're not fighting the system, but you're, you're working the system as it has been described. I mean, if you take a scalp, uh, it's it's not going to come back at you, okay? Uh, so I wanted to also show you this is this is uh, just a picture of my account. I just took a snap of of this. This is from after trading yesterday. This is from my trading yesterday. Here are the three accounts that I'm trading. This one is a funded account now. In fact, yesterday was the first day that I I uh, traded this funded account, and it's uh, uh, I made a few hundred dollars uh, on the first day. Um, actually, this was the second day. The first day, I just kind of experiment with the account. I think I made, uh, I got in and out of account real fast and made ten or fifteen dollars. But you can see that that um, right here is the the total at the end of yesterday. But I'm also going with one hundred fifty thousand dollars and a two fifty. And I'm, I decided uh, this week that I would, and next week I'll concentrate on passing. Most of my effort is passing the one hundred and fifty. A thousand dollar account of which I had a good day yesterday. I'm, I made almost a thousand dollars in that account. So uh, if you if you remember the the uh, if you happen to have glanced at the hundred and fifty thousand dollar account in the last slide, you'll see that I need to make nine thousand dollars. So I've made five. I'm, I'm, I'm I I plan to uh, to get through this. Uh, you know, in the next eight, it's five, ten trading days, whatever it's going to take. You don't want to push things. Uh, but uh, and then when I finish with this, I'll I'll be going to the uh, focusing on the large one where I need to make $15,000, I'm ahead by three. And I, I won't go into why I'm doing trades in, 
in some of them when I'm focusing on, on another. But uh, the, the idea is that you've got a little bit more slack on, on the higher accounts. In any event, um, I just wanted to show you, and, and the reason they suggest at Apex that you have multiple accounts, and I think it's a good idea, um, is, that, um, is that if you do, if all of these accounts are funded, and I blow out this account right here, let's say I blow, let's say I, I, I make a couple of bad trades or something, something happens uh, um, and, and I, I, I reach the blowout stage and I've got to requalify, you've got to requalify. Um, then I've got two other accounts I can continue to trade and make money. So this helps a nice even flow of your income while you're trading this. The more, you know, I, I'm, a number of traders have three or four or five of these $50,000 accounts I think it's it's nice to have a couple of the bigger ones where you can take on more contracts and make more money. But the idea is that if one blows out, you you still have an income from the other. So it's kind of multiple streams of income. This is why one would take on. It's a little tricky. They make actually softwares where you can take it. You can you can uh, put on a trade and it goes automatically onto all of your uh, all of your accounts. I don't like to do that. I like to be in control of each one. I think it's kind of diversifying your risk among uh, different accounts. But the idea is that um, I'm, I'm figuring out how to trade more than one account at a time. But I'm focusing right now on this. I do it my way. You can do it your way. But the idea is that, um, you know, you've got to have a trading plan that that that, that, uh, that moves into, uh, that honors the rules that they have. All right. Here's uh, the Apex. This is, they came out with this recently. I got an email uh, a couple of weeks ago. They'll give you 100% of the first 25,000 per account. Okay, uh, they'll, there's a seven day evaluation. Remember that, um, remember I said, you've got to trade at least seven days. Um, and you can't trade less than that in pass. Only 10 days for the first and ongoing pass. In other words, um, you only have to wait 10 days for your first payment. Uh, you, get, you can request payment uh, twice per month, and I won't go through how you request and so on. It's a fair situation. You do get paid. Uh, full ration micros. I mentioned to you that they count micros as one-tenth account. So if I can take on 10 accounts in a 50000 if I can put on 10 contracts in a $50,000 account, means I can put on 100 micros, Okay. Um, and there's a one-time PA fee. What, what this means is that once you get funded, this is PA is a funded account. Um, once you get funded, there's no longer that $165 testing fee, but you do have to pay $80 a month. Uh, but if you don't want to pay $80 a month, you can pay $140 for a lifetime, um, which I chose to do. And, and that's a decision that you'll have to make. But you know, if you again, if you blow out the account, you got to come back and, and trade again and, and pay a new uh, fee. So if you believe you have a consistent account that you'll stay in it at least four or five months without blowing it out uh, and having to retest and get back into it, I think the 140 makes a lot more sense than paying $80 a month. But in any event, $80 a month is what the fee is once you've passed. OK, just wanted to kind of show you that uh, chart. So one of the things, uh, uh, there are a couple of things that you need to, you need to emphasize when you're, when you're testing for these accounts. Um, and one is to have a frequent, reliable trigger. When I say a frequent trigger, I mean, the faster you qualify, the less fees you'll pay. Makes sense, right? So if you can have a, if you have a system that works, if you have a, if you have a trigger that starts off well, that, 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 that tends to move in your favor quickly after the trigger, um, that's a good thing because you can take your scalp quickly. I'm gonna, be more, I'm gonna tell you more about that in a second. But a good trading plan will likely have more winners than losers. So the more you can trade, the more it makes sense. I mean, if you have a trading plan that uh, that's, has 65% winners, uh, then, uh, then the more trades you take, uh, the better off you are, assuming that you know how to control your uh, the risk on the losing trades. Okay, so um, frequent trigger is a good thing from that standpoint, but still, it's more important to have a trading plan that wins over time rather than forcing frequency. In other words, uh, if you're going to use your own trading plan and not take advantage of the offer that I'm going to give you, then some of the things that uh, that I'm talking about, you want to um, maybe look to adjust your trading plan 
um, so that it is a, you can get a, more more trades in. Okay, reliable and a frequent reliable trigger. What do I mean by a reliable trigger? You you have to find what what I call your A plus triggers. This or or a specific A plus trigger or two or three of them. But the idea, usually in a good trading plan, there's one or two A plus triggers, meaning that this is a trigger that when you go back over your uh, trading, uh, over the charts, you see that this is the one that by far usually uh, gets you off to a, a better start in the direction that you want to go uh, than the other triggers that you use. Okay, and, and you need to find that A plus trigger and you have to have the patience to wait for that A plus trigger. This is why, uh, again, this is again, the mental and emotional. This is why 90% of traders fail and continue to pay the monthlies because they lack patience. Uh, they, they have a fear of trading. They, they don't have, um, they, they don't train themselves on, on a daily basis, even five minutes a day on the mental and emotional so that they can stay uh, conditioned. And in, in this particular example, you gotta be patient to wait for an A trade. In other words, if you, if you only, can only trade two hours a day and you, you've already waited 90 minutes and you haven't seen an A plus trigger, you start to say to yourself, well, maybe I'll, I really want to get in today. Well, let me, I'll, you, you don't want to, you do not want to um, um, compromise on the A plus trigger. And, and, and there are ways to uncover, you know, you can uh, deal with different time frames. If you normally trade a five minute um, uh, candlestick chart, then move to a two, so check a look at a two, take a look at a 10. Uh, look around and you'll, you, you can maybe uncover in that same market um, an A plus trigger. And of course, in the futures market, which is, all, which is what prop trading is all about in the futures market, um, there are different commodities uh, that you can, and currencies and so on, you can look at. I really like trading, uh, incidentally, the, uh, the euro dollar uh, and the uh, Japanese yen. They're very good, plus the crude oil and gold and the bonds. All of these fit very well. Uh, in the trading plan that I'm about to show you and in crop trading in, in general. Sticking to eight plus setups means fewer trades, more profit and less transactional costs. And you'd be surprised if you're somebody that has a, uh, that, 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 uh, trades a lot uh, or trades many contracts, those tr transactional costs can add up. So by keeping it, by keeping a, 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 a lock on your eight plus setups, it means you're gonna have fewer trades and more profit with less transactional costs. All right, always start with at least two contracts. This is my suggestion to you. You wanna treat one as a scalp and one as a swing trader. This will this does a number of things. Uh, it, it, does, it does two main things. One is, is that it, it defends against that, that trailing drawdown that I talk about. When you, when you grab one and a scalp, you're putting profit into the account and, and, and you're not allowing it to draw down. The second contract, you can leave to run as a, a day trade that can make you more money and, and, and treat it as such. There's ways of defending. And I'm talking a lot today about the entering a trade. There are specific rules um, and simple rules, really, that, uh, that you need to exit a trade. And, uh, and, and I'm not going to go through much of that today. Uh, except for to say it is, of course, very important. So always start with two contracts, treating one as a scalp and one as a string, sling trade. If you if you decide to have three contracts, and I just will will state right here that one of the one of the unsung ways of controlling your risk is is position sizing. And I really in my in my trading plans, I talk a lot about position sizing and when to, what kinds of setups warrant a, a larger positioning, okay? But if you take three contracts, you wanna use two as a scalp and one as a swing, okay? I'm always tending toward the scalp in, in the, when, I'm, when I'm, maybe not in my own personal trading, when I'm trading my own account and my own money, but when you're doing this, um, when you're doing the trading in, uh, uh, in the prop trading, you wanna favor the scalp side. OK, because of that, trail, you don't you don't want to have to reset, pay another 80. You want to, the you want your your process to move forward. Now, what I find in, in a good trading plan and the one I'm going to show you a little bit on is that the scalps will offset the losses that you take. And generally what's happening is that those swing trades are where you're going to really build your profit net net. 
net, net, net. Okay. So again, and if you have five contracts, you want to have at least three as a scout, maybe even four with one swing, but five contracts, at least three scouts. So you, you, you understand, I guess this is, I'm just trying to say, favor the scalp side when you're, when you are um, swing trade, when you are um, trading for the prop. Okay. And when I say scalp, I don't mean two or three increments. I'm not saying two. I'm dealing with 10, usually 10 or more. And when I say an increment, I mean, you know, that could be uh, uh, 10 cents in gold or, um, uh, or it could be uh, 25 points in the S&P. Uh, I'm not just talking about scalping real quick. I'm saying getting a meaning for it. I'm going to show you how I measure uh, scal my scalps so that you do get a nice profit in the scalp as well as the potential for even greater profit in what I call the runner, the, 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 the swing part that you trade on, okay? So here is one of the, here's a frequent reliable trigger. There's several of them, but I wanna show you this one. I show this one a lot because I, I, it's really a good frequent reliable trigger. And um, wh what this is, is is a hesitation, what I call a hesitation candle. Let's, let's talk in terms of this being a five minute, um, five minute candle chart. Um, and of course, if you're uh, new to candles, this, uh, th this green means that the, the close was above the open and the body is, is, the, is the, the range of the open and close. So in this candle, it means the market opened here in that five minute period and closed here in that fi same five minute period. And these wicks were, were trades that occurred outside the opening and closing range. I don't pay much attention to wicks unless it's a, uh, unless it's a hanging man on the bottom of a run or a shooting star on the top. But otherwise, I pay very little attention to it. And it helps me actually with position sizing those, uh, the hanging man or whatever, not necessarily to do the trade or not do the trade. But the idea is that um, in this particular case right here, you have what I call indecision. The opening and closing range is very small. The market didn't know what to do in this five minute period. It, it tried to go down a little bit, tried to go up, but it, it really didn't make a decision. I call this an indecision candle. When you have an indecision candle, and of course the ultimate would be a doji where you the, the open and close are equal. When you have an indecision candle followed by a decisive candle through a specific moving average, and I won't go through the proprietary moving averages that we use, but I, I will just say that it, it's a, um, it's a when, when you go through a moving average, a particular uh, EMA, we, we use EMAs, um, exponential moving average, because we want to give more credibility to the, um, to the more recent bars. Uh, it's more sensitive to the more recent bars. When you have indecision follow, followed by a decision, what you want to do is you, when you wait till this bar is closed, and then as soon as this bar is closed, I always have my finger on the on my on my uh, on my mouse, and when the first trade comes out in the new candle, I'm pressing going to the, I'm buying two at the market. Okay, so I buy two at the market here, and then I put my stop to sell two at a tick below. I mean, some guys like three ticks, four ticks. I like a tick below, one tick below. Uh, whichever is the lowest of the two. And in this case, I do count the, the whip. So I'm putting my stop here to sell two right here. So I buy two at the market upon the open of the next bar, and I put my stop in to sell two down here. Now, of course, I got to measure the risk and make sure it reaches my, uh, meets my risk parameters, okay? And then one, the next thing that I do is I measure this body. I measure the body. And I take that same measurement and I extend it from the close. So this close right here, I take the same body and extend it from the close. It would be something right around here, okay? And I put a limit sell. This is my scalp. I'm taking a limit sell, selling one at the uh, and a limit price right here, equivalent to the size of this body, okay? And um, and so when the market goes, when if the market were to go up and take my and, and I take my scalp. The next thing I do is I move the, I cancel, of course, this order for two, and I move the, the remaining stop to break even on the remaining position, okay? So that's all, so that's all that I do. I, I wait for this candle to close. I see it moving through the moving average after a uh, indecision candle. Sometimes there's two or three indecision candles through the moving average, and boom, I've got, um, I buy two here, put my stop down here for two, uh, put my limit 
sell in at an equivalent distance to this, extend it higher. As soon as that is hit, I go ahead and I move my stop and the remaining one to break even. Okay, I think you got that down. Let's take a look at some charts. This was not from today, but this was from uh, this is from a, from a, from Friday's trading, so it's uh, recent. I didn't have a, a chance really uh, to um, to show you today, but it's going to. Uh, the idea is the same. Uh, if you look at this right here, uh, this is at uh, uh, what is it? Nine in the morning. Let me get my glasses here. Yes, nine nine thirty. So so you've got a uh, a candle here that is um, that is moving higher. I won't. Uh, please ignore this. This line here is another moving average that we use as a guardrail. It prevents us from getting in. It's for, for, we use this during choppy periods it, it's, it, we, and other areas that it prevents us from getting into um, getting into markets during a chop. And it also prevents us from getting out too early in a market that's running. So uh, I won't explain what that is, but please ignore for this example. Uh, this white line. This is the line that we're looking at. This is the moving average that we're concerned with. So I here is the setup right here. I'm buying two positions right here. I'm putting my stop down here. You can see that the next candle almost hit our stop, but did not. And when the market got higher, I'm putting my limit sell an equal distance to here. And now I got out of my, my position right here and then moved the stop to break even. But look what happened with the remaining position. Here's another. Uh, and then... Um, this is right here is where I took my my uh, scalp. OK, and then um, if you're I, I will say that I'm showing you here uh, in this particular example, if you took several positions, you took on three or four contracts, um, you take your, you may want to take your first scalp here and you're looking back at. See, this is these were lower highs on the way down. These are going to be resistance areas on the way up. They didn't have much resistance in this, but generally when you see a, 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 when a market has come down before it starts going up, check out the high, the, the lower, lower highs. And this can uh, give you a sense of where you want to take your scalps on the way up because you can, uh, you can expect some resistance there. So you would take a scalp here and a scalp there. Um, so I just want to show you kind of how to scalp when you have multiple positions, but most of that is for another discussion. But frequent triggers, scalp runner approach, and tight parameters. Um, if you look here, um, you you gotta wonder: is this a is this a a take? Now you have here a indecisive candle followed by a a, a big candle through the white moving average here that we're, that we're concerned with for this example. But do you take this? The answer is probably none. And the reason is because the amount of, of um, the amount of risk that you're taking. So you're not taking every, you're, you're being, you're using your discretion not to get in during a risk. And if you did uh, take it, then you, then you would have been out right here on this reversal. Uh, you can see that we have a reversal right here. Um, where uh, if you did take it and uh, you'd have a loss from here to here on two positions. And again, not every trading plan gives you, uh, gives you 100, not, no, no trading plan gives you 100% winners, but here's a nice reversal. And, and you have to have the mental and emotional stability really to, uh, to get right back into a trade once you've gotten out, if it gives you a, a plus trigger. And so here we have another one here. And so we're, we put our stop down here and we put our uh, put our limit sell right here again equal distance to the bar and uh, you're out here and you're moving higher uh, and you with our with our system you would have been out right in here I won't go in again I won't go into the uh, the exit strategies but you would have been out right in this area so you had a really you have a nice you had a, a small loser here if you took it and you had a nice uh, you had a chop here, which would probably offset a lot of that loss. And you had a nice big winner. OK, and as you keep going, here's another losing trade. I want to show you a losing trade. And and, and I want to I do want to say that we wouldn't have taken this trade because of the guardrail. But will another. But if you did take the trade in the beginning, I suggest that people when they're testing, take every trade. I forget the guardrail. I want you to see that it works even without additional uh, um, an additional guardrail. So here we have another. Um, so if you take that, would you take it? I just 
talked about it. But here's one that's a perfect take. What I like about this, of course, it's a nice short, it's a nice short risk. You've got your indecision followed by movement through the moving average. Uh, you, you've taken out some of these highs here, which are nice. You're in the direction of the flow, but look at this. Not only do you get your scalp, but here, and this was just from, uh, this is from the S&P. This, this is a move of, of 30 points in the S&P, okay? This is a five minute chart. Um, so you need clear preserving exit strategies. I wanna just show you one other thing that you, you need. I do wanna show you one thing about exits. And one, one thing that I don't like to do is move too far from, uh, fr from the moving average that we're working with, okay? Here's a, an obvious signal. It's a beautiful signal. Um, and, and it's probably not a maxima. Again, I talk about position sizing. If, you, if you're taking on from two to six positions, this would still probably be a two or a three because the, when I, I like positions that, uh, I, I like to take out a lot of the highs before, which this didn't do. Um, I, if, this was a, if this was a hanging man, uh, I would probably say this is a three. This is probably a two. Okay, a minimum position. So you take your first one out here and you're wishing you had put on the maximum. Um, you put, and, and then you move your stop to break even. And look at this, look at how far it went. What I'm, what I'm telling you is that when you, when you, what I'm suggesting to you, not telling you anything, uh, when, when a market moves this far from the, uh, from the moving average, uh, you really want to take, this is where you can get into trouble with, uh, with the, uh, prop trading the way it is because if you let this come down and you and you take your profit somewhere in here you're going to be penalized against your drawdown for all this so when you have a market that pulls way away from the moving average you're best off just taking it okay taking that profit okay somewhere in there and and you may want not want to take it here even though i'd be as soon as this thing started to breach down you'd, you'd be out right in this area i would suggest okay so uh, I, I see something in the chat. I'm gonna, where is the moving average? What are the moving? I'm not going, uh, uh, that's kind of a prior, prior I, I don't want to give you a moving average and then uh, we use the different ones, but uh, suffice it to say, I think if you're a trader, you can kind of see uh, the range that it's in, but I, I don't want to start giving you uh, information that's not going to be helpful to you. Uh, you know, when those that have the course know exactly what we're doing at what times, okay? So I appreciate the question though. All right, so uh, I wanted to get, just give you some of the, a little bit of some of the exit strategies that 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 are cognizant of how uh, trading works as far as prop trading is concerned. Every trader is different. I do want to mention something about nuances. We've only got about fifteen minutes here, uh, so uh, there's a danger of one size fits all. That's why one trader can't hand you hand you their trading plan and expect you to do it because. You, not every trader is different. Some have more patience than others. Some want more action. And so there are different personality types that need different plan elements and rules. And the concept of nuances that I've developed in when I build trading plans are optional rules and adjustments to fit an individual without adding undue risk. Okay. I won't say anything more about that except for, again, I'm trying to, uh, what I do here is I fit the mental and emotional capabilities into the trading plan by offering you uh, some of these optional rules. Nuances, they address the psychological factors to reduce and eliminate potential human error, okay? So for passing the prop test, I wanna give you an offer here and I wanna explain it to you. This is the loaded gun simple trading plan. I've been trading this almost exclusively myself for, for two and a half years now. It's, the, it's one of the best trading plans, if not the best I've ever written. And I, it, because it's simple, you, you saw the chart, those are the actual charts that I use. Okay, you saw the, uh, maybe you saw on the bottom, you may have seen, uh, uh, you didn't see it here. You see right here, um, the RSI that I use. I, I use that, to, for, again, for position sizing. This is as complicated as my trading, uh, as my charts look. Okay, so I, I believe in simple. I believe simple works best. So I want to, uh, I want to explain what the loaded gun simple trading, I, I give you the core loaded gun trading plan. It gives you the rules. They fit on one sheet of paper. That's why it's simple. It's the rules to get in, rules to get out, and a couple of examples on one sheet of paper, okay? There are videos on, on, that go into it, and they're not they're not long. I, I, the videos may be an hour, an hour and a quarter for, to explain the entire 
loaded gun trading plan. Okay, if, again, it fits on one sheet of paper. I give you all the nuances. We have seven of them currently. We're testing two more. Uh, actually, the two that we're testing were suggested by uh, people, some of the traders that own loaded gun that they've been working with. And, and so I'm, you know, they bring me, we meet every last Wednesday of the month. In fact, we're meeting tomorrow. And, um, and we all get together and discuss our experiences with it. And some of the new people uh, you know, can ask their uh, new, new questions, but you can get through all these videos in about two and a half, three hours, okay? Uh, so that you can kind of have the trading plan match who you are. We have a Facebook group if you're interested in that. I have a way of you being incognito if you don't want to uh, be, the, be on Facebook if you want to do that. Uh, but, and we have uh, the monthly get togethers that I mentioned. Okay, so here is the loaded gun trading plan. It's got everything that you need in order to approach uh, this, um, this funding. Uh, again, we update and share experiences at the meeting. So uh, Peter Orange said, I'm not sure if you read this, but I'm now using loaded gun exclusively. I thought my problem was psychological when in fact my system just didn't work. And can't thank me enough. And Peter is a great, is a really a good, he was a good trader with a couple of emotional things going on that we, we worked on. And then he went ahead and bought Loaded Gun and loves that. So a uh, great trader out of Los Angeles. I wanted to show you this. This I actually got a couple of Saturdays ago. Um, it was on actually this, this person purchased Loaded Gun on 1210. And th this was the Thursday, 1210 was a Saturday. So five days later, uh, he wrote this email to me. He says, I've been trading Loaded Gun, took the attached trade uh, to st on my top step account, he was trading top step and have a great, and you can see he had a winning trade here. I'm not going to go through the trade, but I wanted to show you this particular, because to show you that this is quick, you it won't take you forever to learn this. This is not a bunch of lines. This is a, this is a step-by-step, -step, very easy. And I've explained a lot of it today um, about the entrance. You need to know about the exit strategies and other, uh, other triggers that may but, I, but Jim, um, I just wanted to show you that it ha can happen quickly for you, okay? I want to give you a bonus. This is important because I want you to, the more you understand, if you can, un I don't want you to misunderstand anything, even though it is simple. Uh, there are different situations, a hundred different situations you come across in trading. And as you back test and as you work with it, I want you to be able to come with me one-on-one -on, -one on a Zoom call and let's talk about it. I'll give you, I'll, I'll explain anything that's unclear to you in certain situations. Uh, in fact, what I want you to do is look at the videos, look at one or two of the group meetings so that you can see they're all recorded and you can see some of those past ones. And then I want you to book a session with me. I want to understand your understanding of the, of the, um, of the plan and how it works. And I wanted to, I want to adjust your thinking about it or suggest maybe, I want to, I want to know how you like to trade. And I want to maybe even suggest a couple of those nuances that you may want to include in the trading plan to fit you personally so that you stay on plan. You got to stay on the plan. Okay. And the nuances will help you do that. Okay. As soon as you invest in the loaded gun trading plan, you'll get an email with a calendar link Will you be able to schedule a personalized walkthrough with me? In this particular case, it's going to be me. It says here, one of our professional assistants, but it's going to be me in this case. Uh, I've got room for about four or five more people who will proceed to learn a little bit more. I'll proceed to learn a little bit more about your trading background and advise you how to get a quick start with your purchase. As you perfect the running of the plan, I'll be there so that you can have as many one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions as you need with me. It's up to you. You'll have my calendar for those 90 days. I want you to get it down. You're going to be amazed at the effectiveness of this plan. It worked for me. It, it's worked for others. It's going to work for you. Okay. So I want to give you also a fast action bonus because if you invest in yourself here before midnight today, I'm going to include this. And, and again, none of this works without the mental and emotional capability that you have that you can exercise. I am going to give you a year of access to our flagship peak performance product, the Discipline Trader Master Program. It is what put us on the map almost 20 years ago, and we've we've keep on improving it and improving it. Originally, it was a 12 CDs, and it retailed, and we sold it for 1997, and sometimes 29.97. We've we've we sell it right now for 497 dollars a year. We've because it's now digital. Now it doesn't cost us a whole lot to put together. I want you to have this 
for a year. I want you to be able to eliminate if you have the fear of missing out, if you have a hesitation to pull the trigger, it's not going to work. This is you're just going to be throwing your money away. If you have a lack of patience, you need to reverse that. Trouble overcoming losses, fear of losing, which kind of integrates itself in a lot of these others, or they, it, 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 it gives birth to a lot of these other things that we talk about. Even greed, revenge trading was a huge topic last year. I can see it's still an issue for a lot of traders this year. And over trading seems to be something that happens. Uh, it's kind of a derivative of revenge trading. But whatever your issue is, you're going to be able to to take one of our uh, our 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 um, our discipline trader subconscious trainings that they're, they're they're meditations they only last seven to eight or ten minutes and you take it right before you start trading it relaxes you it also and and it, it focuses you on uh on reversing whatever this issue is and it, it has a simple instructions on on how to take these uh, meditations but i want you to have it so that you have so that your mental care and emotional capabilities are in the forefront so that you can run this. I'm going to give this to you if you if you if you commit to this today. Okay. So and here's what what the discipline trader mastery program kind of looks like. Uh, is exactly what it looks like. I'm not going to go through it except for these core modules are um, are. This is all about the mental and emotional. Uh, this particular product that I'm I'm gifting you if you're uh, if you take advantage of it today. But it's the core modules that hold the meditations. That's where I'd want you to start. Okay. Um, so here is my offer to you, the Loaded Gun Simple Trading Plan, which, which, is the, uh, which is the trading plan and all the videos. You get all the nuances, of which there are seven of them that you can, you know, again, in our conversation, we can discuss what I believe may be work, work for you. They may be obvious to you when you see the videos on them and, and, uh, and what they mean. They may fit you perfectly. I'm going to, you've got the five, private Facebook. You've got our meetings that happen every Wednesday, including tomorrow. Uh, so if you work fast enough, you can really be at our meeting tomorrow. Um, I'm going to give you unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching. I want you to be able to make this happen for yourself, okay? And I'm, I want to give you the fast action bonus, okay? And I want to give you my guarantee. If after having that first one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, I want you to do it within 30 days of your purchase. If you're not satisfied, I'll give you your money back. I'm, I'm not a great salesman, as you can see. I talk too fast and... But I'm not going to, if you don't want it, if you don't believe it's for you, I don't want you to, to spend your money on it. You'll, you'll get an immediate refund, okay? So the, the risk is on me. I want you to purchase this. I want you to try it, okay? So the offer is Simple Trading Plan, which in 1997, um, I'm sorry, the Loaded Gun Simple Trading Plan in 1997. Uh, that's what we sell it for right now with all the core and the meetings. Unlimited coaching with me for 90 days. Uh, it's got a total value of $4,497. We sell the, the loaded gun uh, trading plan online right now for $1,997. I'm going to give you $1,000 off $997. And again, the risk is on me. You just go to simpletradingplans.com. Okay. The coupon code, their money. You can, you can zap, your, uh, zap it right there on your phone if you want. Use the coupon code, their money for your $1,000 off. And if you act quickly if by tonight, if you do this today, Eastern time, okay, by midnight, I want to give you a full year of the mastery program so that you, and if you own the mastery program right now, I'll extend it for another year for you, okay? So full, a full year, if you, I want you to have the mental, none of this works unless the mental game is there, okay? I want you to have that. So uh, whatever issue you have, this is going to, help you to reverse that in a, in a, in a quick fashion. So then get on with earning 90, 100% of your first 25,000 and 90% thereafter. It is doable. I'm doing it. Others are doing it with me. I want you to, I want you to be one of those people. So if you've wrestled with this and you haven't had uh, the, the luck that you've uh, results, I want you to try what I do I, I, again with the full, with, with the full knowledge that the mental and that, that, you, that the risk is on me. So make sure that you, uh, and now if you, uh, if you want to get on my list, I want you to just go to the disciplinetrader.com and, and, uh, and opt into my four minute drills. You'll see them when you go to the disciplinetrader.com, just put your name and email address in there. I'll continue to communicate with you just in case your time is not now. 
and uh, you'll get my emails. You can, of course, unsubscribe at any time. But I wanted you to have that, the disciplinetrader.com. Uh, that was, that's just to uh, get on my list. But the simpletradingplans.com, you want to use the code their money and, uh, and take advantage of this. I really enjoyed uh, uh, being with you today. I love talking about this because I love, <laughs> I love making money. And the fact, it's funny because I don't need to, really, you know, I, I'm lucky enough to have my own account. But to, to have somebody else risk their money for my trading, I just think it's terrific. I'm very excited about it my progress in this, and I want you to share it with me. So thank you, David, for having me.